Illumus Maximus. Illumus Maximus. Illumus Maximus. Huh. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's you. Hold on to your broomsticks, boys and girls, because while practicing my wizardry, I, I, I mean, code breaking, I uncovered a terrifying conspiracy that involves Hollywood, J.K. Rowling, and the ancient religion of Wicca. Right here on Conspiracy Cinema. Is the Harry Potter franchise really Wiccan propaganda? And has Hollywood been trying to convert us to the dark craft for decades? I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, pish posh, Johnny boy, Harry Potter is harmless fantasy. Well, you're dead wrong. Avada Books and films are riddled with necromancy, uh, ceremonial magic, curses, spells, blood sacrifice, and incantations that mirror actual occult ritual. Flesh, the servant, willingly sacrificed. And even the names that are used in the books are names of actual witches and occult figures. Hedwig, uh, Nicholas Flamel, Henry Cornelius Agrippa were all real-life witches and sorcerers and alchemists throughout the ages. And names like Azkaban, Draco, Slytherin are all names of real-life devils and demons. These are not characters of fiction, folks. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. How does J.K. Rowling know so much about the occult if she isn't a witch herself? Is it possible that J.K. Rowling is the head of a secret coven of witches that gather and plot how to subvert the Wiccan beliefs into the youth of society? It's well known that Rowling is actually a recruiter for various Satanist organizations, including the Church of Satan, the Wiccan Circle, and the Pagan Federation, which had to appoint a youth officer to deal with the flood of inquiries coming in from children following the success of Harry Potter. Girls, watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos, Mr. Millions of young people, by reading these books, are learning how to work with demon spirits and getting to know them by name opening up their souls for possession. You've lost all that. But why start with children? What is Rowling's endgame? My sorcerers, I, I, I mean my sources, deep in the occult world, have told me that Rowling is building a young witch and wizard army to eliminate all muggles and mudbloods. I mean, humans. Come, little children, the time's come to play. The recent return of the Black Plague, a witch's most effective weapon during the Middle Ages, reappeared in Yosemite and Angeles National Forest this year, both cases having been directly linked to witchcraft. But this is just the beginning. Hollywood and High Sorceress Rowling have gone so far as to build a massive Wiccan recruitment center. You may know it by its more innocuous name, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, <laughs> where children go in as normies and come out as sorcerers. The ritual begins with the drinking of butterbeer and eating a box of Birdie Bot's every flavor jelly beans. There's chocolate and peppermint. And there's also spinach, liver, and tripe. George swear to get a bogey flavored one month. Hollywood is so entranced by J.K. Rowling's spell that she has even convinced Warner Brothers to option another of her wicked books set in the Potter universe. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. Great. Now she's going to reveal where her army can find terrifying dragons and powerful hippogriffs and vicious basilisks to use against us. <laughs> How is it possible for a cult to dig its claws so deeply into the Hollywood system? I promise you, faithful viewers, that I will do everything in my power to put the kibosh on this wicked takeover. After all, we all learned from Hansel and Gretel witch hunters that there's only one way to stop a witch. How do you best kill a witch? I say burn them all. 
I mean, who really wants to learn magic anyway? Oh, look, I'm a wizard. <laughs> it's not like it could be useful or fun or anything. Or get that girl who works at the spy shop who kind of looks like Scully from the X-Files to fall in love with me. Not season nine, Scully. I'm talking fresh out of Stanford Med School, season one, luscious, perfect onion in those pencil skirts, Dana Scully. Oh, I want to believe. Average. Well, that did not go as planned. Where the hell am I? Well, if you have a cinematic conspiracy you want me to investigate, leave it in the comments below. In code. Is that fire? Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. 